Hola mis amigos, ¿cómo están? Es un día feo en Indiana, no hace ningún sol, solo uso mis gafas porque quiero ser cool. Hoy les traigo un video chiquitito, pero bien importante. Hoy les voy a contar tres errores que veo muchísimo cuando un hispanohablante está hablando inglés y cómo arreglarlos cuando están hablando inglés. Empecemos. All right, my friends. All right, today I am going to talk about three errors, three errors that I hear. I hear often and I see when Spanish speakers like you guys are writing in English or speaking in English, okay? Now, I have said before that sometimes a veces our first language, our first language will trick us when we are speaking our second language. Today, I have three examples of that. And I am going to tell you how to fix them so you will sound better when you are speaking English. The first one is when we are talking about how old we are, okay? Or how old something or somebody is. Now in Spanish, we say, tengo, por ejemplo, yo, tengo 31 años. Mi hijo tiene 7 años, okay? But in English, it is not like that, okay? But your Spanish is tricking you. So I hear, I hear all the time Spanish speakers saying, I have 20 years. Uh, my niece, she has six years, okay? Things like that. Now I know that in your mind, tiene sentido. It makes sense because that's how you say it in Spanish. But in English, we do not say tengo, tener, okay? We do not use that. We say I am, he is, she is, all right? So, for example, for example, I am 31 years old. My son, mi hijo, my son is seven years old. Okay? And it's the same thing if we are talking about things too. Cosas y no de personas. So, this car, my car, my car is five years old. Okay? My dog is eight years old, etc., etc. So, next time you are telling somebody how old you are, do not say tengo. X años, say, I am 23 years old. I am 15 years old. My dog is three years old, okay? Say it like that and you will sound good. The second thing that I see and I hear is that when we are agreeing with somebody, si estamos de acuerdo con alguien, a Spanish speaker wants to say, I am agree, I am agree, okay? Porque en español decimos estoy de acuerdo. Estoy de acuerdo contigo. Estamos de acuerdo. Okay? But it does not work like that in English. In English, we do not say, I am agree with you. Uh, we are agree. No. We say, I agree with you. We say, okay, we agree. Estamos de acuerdo. He agrees with me. She agrees with me. I agree with her. Okay? We do not say, I am agree. He is agree. No, 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 no. In this case, we say, I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay, the third and last, the third and final example is when you put the adjective after the noun, okay? For example, this, this is a black cross, okay? But you would want to say, un cruz negro, okay? But in English, we say black cross. My car is a black car. Often I hear Spanish speakers put the adjective after the noun, like they would in Spanish, we do not do that in English. So people might say, oh, you have eyes blue. No, in English we say, I have blue eyes. I do not have eyes blue, okay? I know it's difficult because you would say, oh, tengo uh, ojos azules, okay? Tengo ojos azules. But in English we say, I have blue eyes, okay? I have a black car. No tengo un carro negro. I do not have a car black. I have a black car, okay? Right now I am drinking, I'm drinking black coffee. I'm not drinking coffee black. In English we put the adjective before the noun, okay? So if you are a man like me and you are from Colombia, you are a Colombian man, not a man Colombian, okay? If you're a girl from Mexico, you're a Mexican girl. You are not a, not a girl Mexican, okay? That is how it works in English. These were some of the examples that I see and hear 
regularly on my noodle. I just wanted to tell you guys about them so that you could fix them and sound better when you're speaking English, okay? Because that is the goal here. We're trying to get you guys better with your English so that you feel comfortable, confident, and proud when you're speaking English, okay? Okay, mis amigos, espero que este video fue útil para ustedes. Algo chiquitito para ayudarles, como siempre. Muchísimas gracias por ver y nos vemos pronto.